Konnichiwa YouTube. I wanted to make a video of how I create flashcards in Anki from videos using the audio. So I've been watching these Heidi animated videos that were produced around 1974 and were shown on Japanese TV. So the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously get the video. So I found a channel on YouTube. I'm using the Chrome browser with a download extension for YouTube. So I can click uh, this button here and download the video, which I've already done. I've created a folder on my laptop. So here's the video and you also need the subtitle file that goes with whatever video you want to do this process for. So there's a, a nice site on the internet called kitsuneko.net. You can see they have a whole lot of subtitle scripts. I believe these are probably mostly for anime, but there could be some other videos in here. But, um, you know, besides that, I found that they had the uh, subtitle files for, for the Heidi videos in here. And um, I've already downloaded the uh, subtitle file for episode six that I'm going to be walking through today. So it's a .srt extension. I guess I think there's other types of subtitle files, but that's what they had here. So I created and uh, put that in the Heidi episode six folder. So that's all we need to get started besides downloading this program called subs to SRS, it just means subtitle to space repetition system. So this is going to be used to create the uh, information, basically the video and audio files that will be used by Anki to create the um, flashcards. So this first entry is where we just tell it to go find the uh, subtitle file. So I'm going to be going through episode six as an example. So I'll click that open. Then output is where we want the files that are created by the subs to SRS program to be located. So I'll tell it to put it in the same folder, Heidi episode six. This next one is if you have maybe some English subtitles or subs two or another language but I'm not using that. And here we're just telling the program where to find the video. It's gonna basically parse out snapshots of the video along with the audio. And that's what it's gonna be creating. So we did that. And the last thing I need to enter down here says required is the name of the deck. So I'll tell it Heidi episode six. And I didn't change any of these other parameters. Generate audio clips is what we want because it's gonna be extracting the short audio clips from the video to use along with the video snapshots. So extracting at this bit rate, this is gonna be the size of the snapshot on the Anki card. We're not generating any video clips. So nice thing here, we can click a preview you know, kind of do its thing, and then it'll show us the snapshot it's going to create. And we can hit um, preview audio. So you can see the audio. This is what the audio that was just spoken. So I'm going to assume this is good to go, but I forgot to do something. So I'm going to cancel out of this and walk you through this because I noticed for the subtitle files that are downloaded to that site, I can pull them up in this program called Subtitle Edit. It's this is SE up here. So I'm going to open the Heidi Episode 6 subtitle file and show you there was an error in it. So I'll click that and so it pulls in the subtitles here and then I can load a video on the right. I'm not going to do that, but I can click here, open video, it'll show the video. I can press the play button, it'll play, you know, along with the, the subtitles here. But the Heidi videos are normally about 24, 24 and a half minutes long. But I noticed in looking at this, see we're already into it an hour, three and a half hours, so something's not right. So I need to get rid of these extra subtitles in here. 
So I noticed if I go to the Heidi videos, they normally end with something like this, with this character Tsuki, and then uh, I think maybe Mawaru wa. So I need to go find that in the subtitle file. It should be around 24 minutes or so. If we go back to the video, you can see it's around yeah, 24 and a half minutes. So let me go there and just find that text and then I need to delete everything else that's after that. So clicking through here, almost there. So here it is, the Tsugi. So everything after that I'm going to delete. So I'm gonna click, highlight that, scroll down, select everything else, and I'm gonna do a right click and delete. Say so yes, I wanna delete all that. So now I want to save this as a new subtitle file. So I do a um, save as and then paste it, copy it back into episode six folder. It should tell me if ask me if I want to replace it. I'll say yes. Being used by another process. So let me close out subs to SRS and try that again. See it's still there. So let me try saving it one more time. Yes, I want to replace it. Now it replaced it. So I have to go back and, and open up the um, subs to SRS folder again now. Click that new file. So here's here it is. Output. Tell it to put all the files it creates back in the episode 6 folder. Tell it to where the video is located for episode 6. Then enter the name of the deck again, Heidi, episode six. So I'm gonna hit um, preview. So now we can uh, hit preview audio and listen. So that's good. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and see what it imported was up to that 24 and a half minute mark. So we're good to go. So I'm gonna hit go. So it's probably gonna take a couple minutes. So I'll um, come back when this is done. Okay, so Subst SRS is finished. So it pops up the screen. So you wanna make note of this because this is what you're gonna to have to enter into the Aki deck that you create. I guess mine has five entries here. Some may have six, but I'll show you this later. So we're good. I'm going to close out the subs to SRS program. I'm going to go back to the um, Heidi folder. So here's the Heidi episode six folder that we had the video as well as the subtitle a file. But now you see there's two other things that are in the folder. So this is what subs to SRS did. This is a um, TSV file that we're going to import into Anki and here's the um, video and the audio. So here's you know, like the audio file mp3 and a, and a JPEG, I mean the JPEG picture file that it created to use to make the flashcards. So I'm going to have to copy all of this that was created in the subs to SRS program into the Anki collection media folder on my computer. So I already found this. It's a little conv convoluted, but mine was in this on the C drive users down through Anki, but it's collection.media. So I'm gonna paste those new episode six files into here. So all of the files for the different episodes are in the same folder. So it's gonna get pretty large. Remember this collection.media. So it's there. So that's the next step that we needed to do. So I can close out the subs to SRS. Now we're going to create the Anki deck, the new Anki deck for episode six. So here's the Anki program on my computer. So I'm going to click file and import. And then we're going to import that TSV file that was created in the subs to SRS program. I'll click that. See, I'm in episode five. Don't want to make that mistake. Let me go to episode six. Click the TSV file. Open. The screen will pop up. So the deck up here is showing episode five. So I'm going to 
type in a new name, Heidi episode six. I'm gonna hit add, okay. And this is where, remember, I told you to pay attention to that little pop-up that came after the Substat SRS program finished doing what it's doing. So this order, I made note of it. This first one is supposed to be tag. I'll just hit change. The second one was sequence, sequence marker. Third one was audio. I'll change that to audio, hit OK. Fourth one was snapshot, map to snapshot. And this last one was expression, so that's fine. So I'm gonna hit import. Now it says 20, 256 notes added. So it looks like importing is complete. So that's good. So I guess where well, they have this set up now, I think I just have it on 100 cards, whatever, I can change this. But yeah, now it looks like um, it imported the card. So we can verify that by opening up, do the study now. So I'll probably end up uh, not keeping this card because this isn't something I want to um, keep in here and you can uh, take cards out, but I'll just click show answer, click good. So that's syncing up here and I guess I'm too far away, but I think that's in sync with what's shown there. I'll just hit uh, do that again. All right, looks like everything's working. So I'm almost done. Use the Anki flashcards on my iPad. So I need to transfer the file for this new deck six to my iPad. So I'm gonna click uh, this wheel. I'm gonna hit export. And I'm gonna hit Anki deck package export format. Those are the formats you can select, but I'm gonna select the Anki deck package. I'm gonna hit export and tell it to put it into the Heidi Episode 6 folder with all the other files. So it should be there shortly. So if we go to the Episode 6, now you'll see a bunch of different files. Here's the original video that we had, the subtitle file, the TSV file that was created in subs to SRS, as well as the uh, snapshots and audio. And here's that Anki deck file. So I'm going to copy that. And I normally just mail it to myself. I guess I could add it to Dropbox and pull it in from my iPad. But uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to mail it to myself and then I'm going to share my iPad screen and then show you the final step in getting it into my iPad. All right, I'm back. You're looking at my iPad screen. So I've emailed that file that I exported from the Anki on my computer. I'm gonna do a tap to download. So it's gonna just take a short time to download. And so once it's downloaded, I'm gonna click that file, go over to more and look for Anki. Now it's importing into the Anki app on my iPad. I'll click okay. And so now we have Heidi episode six and click that. All right, so then you can browse and make sure it looks like I got all the files and I'll scroll down to the bottom and I see the same Tsugi or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So it looks like everything came through. That's how I create the uh, snapshot and audio files to use with the Anki, new Anki deck. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Sayonara.